Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about drives, which comes under Unit 4, that is Motivation and Emotional Processes in the Subject Psychology for BSc Nursing Students. This is my Part 2 video. In my Part 1 video, I have discussed about needs. If you have not watched those videos, I have given the link of Psychology Playlist in the description box, suggested end card and I card. Or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video as i have told earlier we are going to discuss about drives what is a drive a drive is an aroused state resulting from some bodily or tissue need needs lead to drives so drives are nothing but they are an arousal state of an individual so which occurs as a response to bodily or tissue needs this aroused condition makes the individual to get motivated and to initiate the behavior to rectify the need or to find a remedy for the need for example lack of food suppose if the person is not having food the, what happens in his body so some chemical reactions are taking place which will be um, sensitizing his brain to stimulate the hunger okay so in his um, body the blood sugar level everything will be going down so immediately he will be feeling hungry so because of this hungriness he will be having some state of tension and he will satisfy the hunger need okay so, uh, so any need can lead to drive so suppose if i am feeling thirsty what will happen immediately i will go and take water so this thirsty feeling makes me to be aware of the thirstiness and i am taking some action to fulfill that need so this is called as what this arousal state is called as drive so here need refers to the physiological state of tissue deprivation whereas dry refers to the psychological consequence of a need already i have told hunger th thirst this and all or all what a physiological need so because of this physiological need to satisfy this need suppose if i am hungry i will be feeling very tired so immediately i will think of uh, uh, for finding the food or for searching for food okay so as a result of need you will be getting drive need is physiological state drive is psychological state the strength of the drive depends upon the strength of the stimuli so how hungry you are or how thirsty you are okay what is the necessity of the need like that okay so the drives are divided into two categories what are those categories biological or primary drive socio-psychological or secondary drive so first is what biological or primary drive socio-psychological or secondary drive so we will see biological drive so this biological needs give birth to biological drive such as hunger thirst sex and escape from pain so these are all the biological or physiological needs which i have already explained in uh, needs part so the biological drives are basically they are unlearned so no one teaches a child how to feel thirsty how to feel hungry and all so by inborn by innate itself you will be having all these basic biological drives so they arise as a result of biological mechanism called homeostasis what is homeostasis means your internal balance with external environment see inside your body itself a homeostasis or a balance is maintained suppose if there is going to be any disturbance in this homeostasis it lessens in malfunctioning or a state of disequilibrium for example when blood sugar level drops glands stomach and other body parts sends signals to the brain so this brain will be activating what center 
hunger center already i have explained this thing so here whenever you are feeling hungry on when your blood sugar level drops immediately your stomach your other glands your hormones everything will be sending some signals to the brain so the brain in turn as a response to this stimulus what it will do it will be stimulating the hunger center or hunger drive okay so the person will be feeling hungry so after the food gets consumed no the your blood sugar levels everything is going to come back back into normal or balance so uh, anything not only i have told about hunger similarly if you are having thirsty and if you are having water if you are having some difficulty in breathing suppose um, if you are not getting sufficient air everything same thing happens okay so the internal homeostasis maintenance is very 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 important okay so for normal physiological balance your homeostasis should be maintained at a normal level next is socio psychological or secondary drive so biological or physiological drive or uh, primary drive which is what uh, which is very inborn or in uh, innate and they are not learned but the psycho sociological drive or socio psychological drive which is otherwise called as secondary drive it includes your fear your anxiety your desire for approval striving for achievement aggression and dependence so all these are related to social aspect and psychological aspect fear anxiety desire for approval uh, striving for achievement appreciation aggression and dependence everything comes under this socio psychological drive so they arise from socio psychological needs and are said to be learnt okay so they are learnt by means of social learning so one has to interact so man is a social animal so man will be interacting with others in a socio cultural environment so this leads to what social learning so these drives act as a reinforcer of the behavior for the continuity and maintenance of the behavior so these drives act as a reinforcer of the behavior for the continuity and maintenance of the behavior so here both physiological drives are very 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 important next moving on to socio psychological drives so both will go hand in hand and unless and until the physiological drives are satisfied then we will move on to all these things socio psychological drives etc so in my next video i'll be discussing about motives okay so that will be giving a detailed explanation about motivation the chapter itself is motivation so motives will be dealt in next part before going to motives i like to tell a few points with regard to incentives so what is this incentives so the incentives are something like gifts or a word of appreciation or a token of economy like that and all token economy like that and all so which is going to encourage a person so suppose if the a person is getting a first marks so the university or the college is giving gold medal means it is an appreciation for his work or it is an incentive suppose if the person is working very very hard and the um, office is giving bonus for him so that is also is going to be an appreciation for him so like that it goes on similarly um, project has been done by a student nicely so the teacher is giving some appreciation or uh, uh, some chocolate uh, like that so which is going to be a motivating factor for the person or the student so the drives are influenced and guided by your incentives for example praise appreciation regards bonus etc are examples of incentives for small children a small chocolate is also an incentive okay a piece of candy chocolate or a toy may work as an incentive for a child to give more strength to his drive and as a result he may further motivated to act or behave in a desirable way suppose if you are telling if you are going to school regularly without putting leave for one month i will see so if you are going to do that you are going to get a new box so this uh, so once the child has been performed and if you are going to give a new box the child will be feeling very happy so if you are going to be regular to our school mama will be giving some gift to us so it will get motivated and it will follow that uh, 
particular thing so whether primary or secondary drive it is greatly affected and directed by the incentive so anyone will be happy by getting some incentives or a word of appreciation like that so these incentives should go hand in hand so work more forcefully in the case of an individual who remains very much deprived of them for a long time suppose for a long time if you are not getting bonus suddenly if you are getting a bonus so you will be feeling very happy and excited like that and all okay so this is with regard to drives and incentives under drives we have seen biological drives or primary drives under secondary drives or socio psychological drives then we have seen a uh, brief note about uh, incentives so my next video as i have told you earlier will be on motives motives a small introduction types etc we can discuss in our forthcoming videos hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more psychology related videos as well as nursing related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel